Oh, what a lovely, lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary. But the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing round the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We would like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. As you can see, we've already started here. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Bernd Leno. I think his presence might make all the difference for this team. He's got lightning-fast reactions and uh, a coolness under pressure that allows him to make the big one-on-one -on -one saves. He's also very... He's had a shot! A 1-0 lead established. He's just gone and reminded us yet again of what a threat he carries. David Luiz. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Forward it goes. Well positioned to make that interception. David Luiz. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Promising move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Now it's Griezmann. That's a terrific surge down the right. And that has been clubbed away. And there is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that has still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Do it back on the first 45 minutes. Well, I think there's plenty to be pleased about with that first-half display in terms of the score and, and overall approach. Barcelona go in at half-time with a slender one-goal lead.
Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to what is, in effect, a winter wonderland. The uh, snow-decorated perimeter of the pitch is perfect evidence of this and, indeed, evidence of the efforts that the ground staff have made to get all of the white stuff off the playing surface. The forecasters do say that we will have snow throughout the game, but we have been told absolutely categorically that things aren't expected to get any worse. The atmosphere is terrific, the turnout, considering the weather, is excellent, and you do get the sense that a special event is ahead of us. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Well, there are plenty looking forward to seeing this. A capacity crowd here. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah. Shoots! Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. And it's Griezmann. Roberto. Lewandowski. Barcelona are working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. Referee's given a throw. And it's Davis. Big chance! He's missed, but by that far, his reputation is better than what we've just seen. Piquet drives it forward. Jordi Alba. And here's the chance to counter. Gnabry. Gnabry really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. Kimmich with the short one. That's a hit! That's a half-decent try. Davies did give it a fair old crack, and he'll be encouraged to step up again. Being played forward, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Hernandez. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. And we are up to the break. Bayern Munich ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. 